Hey guys, in this quick video, I'll walk you through how to use Outscraper in order to scrape local businesses, for example, scraping Google Maps in the process. So essentially, if you want to better understand what kind of websites you can scrape with this tool, you can go on their website, which is outscraper.com. I'll link in the description down below underneath the video. Now over here, you can see that you can basically scrape anything ranging from Google Maps all the way to Amazon, YouTube, or anything of that sort. As soon as you're logged in, what you would need to do is basically top up your account. So the way you will do that is by clicking on um, over here the e the your profile. And if you go on your profile here, you can top up your account with some money. But to start with, I think you get 500 free scrapes, so you can get 500 contacts to scrape uh, or 500 companies to scrape at a time. Now, as soon as you're logged in, you could also go inside of Hub, which says services, and then you can filter by uh, by type and over here you will see businesses and POI and then narrow down to Google Maps Scraper, right? So at that moment in time, you should be taken to a page which looks um, something like this. And essentially over here, the first thing you need to do is understand the category of the business that you want to scrape. So the way you will do that is by basically going into Google Maps um, yourself and typing in whatever type of business you're looking for. So for example, here I'm looking for a window cleaning company. And in this case, if I look at all of those companies here, they're all in the window cleaning service. So that's the category here. So it says window cleaning service is the category. So then we just copy and paste the name of the category that we're looking for. We'll copy and paste it over here. So I'm going to type in window cleaning service. And at that moment in time, at the bottom here, we can then select the location. Once again, for this, uh, at this moment in time, it's good that for me, it selects the US and it selects basically every single state possible. And I'm going to go for 400 results because I think that's as many free credits as I can get for doing this video. And then I will untick all of these boxes because the, I don't really need to verify email addresses or do any of that stuff. But over here, you can basically get them to uh, check if like, for example, they have a WhatsApp, if like what their trust pilot is, and basically they're just gonna charge you a tiny bit extra for each one of those insights. Uh, so at that moment in time, I'm just going to make sure that I'm not ticking any of those boxes. Um, and then over here, you can select additional, um, like additional stuff. So for example, like best for cold calls or best for cold emails. I don't really know how Outscraper determines that. So I'm not going to really trust them on that. And at that moment in time, I'm just going to click on get data. And you would see that it's loading in the background. It's showing me a pricing breakdown simply because... Um, you know, for 400 places, since I've got enough free credits right now, um, it's going to do it for free. And it says that you'll be ready in 2175 minutes. So at that moment in time, I'm going to click on confirm and at the task will be loading. And as soon as the task is completed, it should be completed. And I should be the task progress in the tasks page. So if I click on tasks over here, you should, uh, I should be able to then see the results um, of each of the pages, uh, you know, and as fast as the scrape loads. At that moment in time, as soon as something loads, I can then basically click on the Google Sheets emoji and I believe it will take me into a Google Sheets account. So straight away, happy days, I can basically log in and uh, scrape uh, and basically just access the CSV file or otherwise I can just download it as a CSV file. And the next thing that I'm going to do, of course, um, if you know me, uh, that well, you would know that I'm going to go straight inside of Clay. I'm going to click on workbook, blank workbook. And at that moment in time, I'm going to import from CSV and drag and drop the file, which I think this was just like a test search. So let's see how the file loads. And at that moment in time, it's going to populate. Now, if you actually want to then import it inside of Clay, you would need to clear out all of the relevant cells that have been scraped because simply because um, there will be a lot of columns which are absolutely irrelevant. For example, some of the ones that you can see over here, like for example, the, I don't know, like what opening times, um, like, like what time the shop is open or something of that sort, which is absolutely irrelevant for us. So we're just going to delete those because obviously when we have like 300 different columns, um, it's not going to be useful for us when we import it inside of Clay. And also Clay would not allow you to import more than 30 or 40 columns at a time anyways. So we're just basically going to delete a bunch of random columns here inside of the Google Sheets that we've just imported the document to. And then afterwards, we're going to basically download it as a CSV file. We're going to go back inside of Clay and then we're going to drag and drop the file in order for our scraper to then um, be able to import it. Now, voila, that moment in time, we should see that uh, Clay starts populating with the input. And we can see that the results of this one sample scrape that we just did are all over here. And then, of course, there will be a separate video which walks you through about how to actually use Clay to personalize this outreach for local businesses. So stay tuned for that. But in the meantime, if you want to get, I think, 
like a pretty good discount i'd say like around 20 percent off outscraper i'll link uh down in the description below um some sort of promo code that you can use in order to sign up for outscraper so other than that do drop me a comment down below if you have any questions do like this video if you found it useful and on top of that if you want to use outscraper going forward just use the link down in the description i'm sure it will give you some sort of discount and quick disclaimer it will probably give me some kickback as well um which will compensate for 10 minutes of me recording this video on a random sunday um so yeah other than that have a good one i'll see you in the next video